Okay, so now I've finished cutting up all the fly agaric, and I'm going to put it in the food dryer. So I cut it up in nice big chunks. You don't want to cut them too small because they really do shrink. They contain a lot of water, <clears throat> and they're super light. This is pretty heavy right now, but um, later when it's dry, it weighs almost nothing. You could have an amount of mushrooms like this, and you'll have less than 100 grams of dried mushroom powder when it's all done. So um, later I'll show you what we do. I mean, you can dry it and just keep the big pieces like this. Um, <clears throat> they say if you keep the fly agaric dried and keep it for a year that it loses uh, some of its toxicity, or a lot of it actually. So that might be something worth trying. Also, I've um, filled up the bottle here. You can see at the bottom, the lower part about to here has been in for about a week. And it was full, so it degrades and it kind of uh, turns more and more into liquid. So I think in another week or two or three weeks, it'll only be about this much meat in there and the rest will be liquid. So you can see the red liquid there. That's what we want to create. And so you want to, you know, hit it once in a while, make sure you get that air out of there. And just put it in a very cold and dark place and let it sit for about a month. And then strain it through a uh, cheesecloth. That's the best thing to do. So we're going to let these dry. These will take about, hmm, about two days, tops three, to dry. They need to be very crispy. And then we'll continue the video on how to... Uh, make different things with it, how to, you know, um, how to turn them into powder, how to make powder, how to make cells, how to make tincture, and then we'll get to uh, dosages with humans and dogs. I have some interesting um, uses with dogs. Um, um, a word of caution still, you always have to be very, very careful and not forget that this is a toxic mushroom. Um, you don't want your animals eating it. You don't want to leave it lying around. Uh, it, it tastes kind of sweet, so you don't want to leave it somewhere where the animals can access it. And um, with internal use, you have to be very, very careful. You always, always start with one drop doses of a tincture. And the juice you never use internally. And the mushroom powder, I guess you could take internally, but I would find it hard to dose with an animal, so I would go with the tincture. But um, externally, you can use it just fine. It'll also help a dog with some pain. And also, um, I have some ear oil that I make that's quite useful with dogs that have very strongly itching ears. That works quite well. And some other things. So we'll get to that. Uh, now I'm going to put these in the dryer. And I'll see you back when everything's dried.